We start with the strange and go all the way to the truly bizarre and game-breaking in today's episode. What is going on fellow fans of Clash of Clans? It is your host Galadon and I am excited to share with you that today's video is sponsored by Dragon City. Now I started playing Dragon City a couple weeks ago, free to play on Android and iOS. The link is down in the description. Make sure you click it, check out the game. And as you do, you'll notice some similarities to Clash of Clans like gathering resources to upgrade your city, choosing dragons based upon their skills to put together the strongest army, and you can get new and undiscovered dragons by breeding. So you've got breeding, also don't forget the very important feeding and you'll find with these dragons special abilities there will be many that you will be needing when you go out to face other players in PvP. So we're going to feed a dragon right here, heavy armored dragon Horatio and of course they need to be well fed because they're going to be going through some intense training. As you train your dragons you will unlock new abilities and new attacks like you see right here and then out into the leagues to face other players and other dragons in PvP action. And there are actually different PvP modes where you can take your strongest dragons and fight in leagues or in the arena. Also, be sure to use Facebook Connect like I did so that now I can play on all of my devices and I can find my friends and fight against them. And every single week, new dragons show up through special events and islands so you can continue to pick up new and more amazing dragons. Again, the link is down in the description. It's free to play. Click on it and join me in Dragon City. And now it is time for another installment in the strange but true stories of Clash of Clans. So if you want more episodes like this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, turn on notifications and get ready to have your mind blown. Okay, so again, we're starting out with relatively tame. Yeah, it's cool. It's a phoenix base or a dragon base. It's got a gem box right in the center of the village, but the strange but true is not revealed until you check out the profile and then Legend League player, Town Hall 11, a personal best of 5,436 trophies, apparently using level 7 goblins. Uh, all the other troops are level 1 or not unlocked. You saw the heroes are pretty high level as well. And over 1 billion in gold and elixir grabbed by this player, basically using goblins and nothing else. Now this player has been in a clan. You can see they've gotten a lot done otherwise done some donating as well right now not in a clan and almost look check this out almost all the way through the goblin map including slaying the dragon with just spells level seven goblins i uh, anyway i don't know thank you so much two full ae streams on twitter for submitting this one very cool uh but let's move on as it does get way weirder so let's take a look at my Galadon only clan as I'm getting closer and closer to the point where I'm going to have basically one of every town hall and of course I have a couple of accounts that do seem kind of impossible. They're just engineered rushed. They came out before town hall 12 so they're really not that amazing but there is the fact that I've got a town hall 2 the lowest possible town hall that you can get into a clan. It okay. Um... All right, so some this I don't know who this is who joined my clan. Who is this? Danny Brackets TH1. I don't know who that is. Um, I accidentally left the. Who is this guy? He's a. Uh, oh, okay. So the lowest town hall you can get into a clan is apparently town hall one. So Danny's town hall one is now in my just Galadon clan, and he's gotten 92 stars on the Goblin map with level one barbs archers and level one giants and uh here's his base that should not be possible that is uh right that's a town hall one with two level two cannons and he's in a clan he has rebuilt his clan castle as a town hall one you can't even get out of the tutorial as a town hall one so i don't want to use the h word but this is making me feel uncomfortable and he got into my clan which is even more awkward so I tell you what we're just yeah before we get any further into this all right so yeah all right so we're clear we're in the clear again we will qualify for CWL in case that happens and I end up going to Poland with my uh, 15 
Galadon accounts. Hey, you never know. It could happen. Okay, I don't have 15 Town Hall 12s, but let's move on. Okay, so I've got some really weird stuff coming up. Trust me, way stranger and true. But this I just wanted to show because it was the absolutely most epic beta minion you will ever see. And it comes to us via Trigger from the Galafam. Watch for the very last minion in this Builder Base attack. You will not believe your eyes. I could not believe it when I saw what happened here. So the air bomb's obviously still up, wiping out minions left and right, literally. Here we go. Now there's four left. Now there are three left. They are up at the top of your screen. Here comes another bomb. Now we're down to the last minion, and check out this move right here. The juke and the throw. Unbelievable. The minion takes it, grabs the third star, even though it perished in its heroic act. The most heroic beta minion I have ever seen. All right, and one more weird one. This was even stranger. Talk about a misbehaving bowler. A bad, bad bowler right here. This is what seems to be a relatively normal attack. This came to me via my good friend Toggy from Iceland. Shout out to Iceland. And uh, we will see what seems like a normal-ish attack, right? You've got, it's a bowler walk, pretty much. But this bowler, he can't seem to make up his mind. Does he want to go outside? Or does he, no, he wants to come back inside. He's going to go after that elixir collector. And he's going to go after it. Well, anyway, I could only think of one song that was appropriate for this moment. Different choices of music that you could have had right there. But yeah, Strange But True Bowler couldn't quite make up his mind as to where he wanted to go. And eventually just... The raid ran out of time with him wandering. Okay, check this one out that I found myself. At first, it doesn't seem like there's anything unusual, but notice the amount of Dark Elixir available. Exactly zero. So no Dark Elixir is available in this base. And then I noticed something kind of unusual. Poor Merriam has no Dark Elixir drills. And I realize it's not that strange. It is true that somebody needs to tell Merriam how to play Clash of Clans and uh, Town Hall 11 never having built a Dark Elixir Drill and notice getting the King and the Queen up I mean there's levels on both of those heroes so we've been using Dark Elixir just not getting it for free all right moving on to another strange but true and then we'll get to the really really bizarre and I'm telling you right now when I said game breaking I wasn't kidding okay first things first no attack Town Hall 12, uh, yeah, he's got baby heroes and mostly level 1 troops, but he's gotten here without ever attacking another player. I mean, now the base in and of itself is pretty cool. I do really like the winky face sticking the tongue out, even with the color of the tongue is very appropriate. But when he says no attack, he means no attack. He is a non-violent player who believes that you should never attack and stealing is wrong. So as we look, he's got no stars on the goblin map. That's right, no goblins were harmed in the making of this village and no gold or elixir stolen whatsoever. He has never destroyed a single wall. He has never destroyed a town hall, obviously. And yes, so yeah. Uh, no attack has been attacked though. He has been forced to defend and apparently his village does defend itself. Although he attempts to turn the other cheek, obviously he's got, you know, I mean, there is a Giga Tesla inside that town hall. It's not a big one, but it's there. So he isn't completely passive. All right, let's move on. This is it. This is the strangest base I may have ever found. Thank you so much. This actually happened. This was Danny Town Hall 1 that told me about this. Check this out. Now tell me when you see it, okay? When you see it, mention it. Did you see it? Did you catch it? No? All right, take a close look. Now you may have heard of the term edge cases before. This is the literal edge case. Okay, this is a literal edge case. As we zoom out, watch the edges of your screen, watch the outsides, and wait for it. Do you see it yet? No, you don't, but here it comes. Get ready. All right, there you go. You got it yet? You got it yet? It's, uh, it, this is for real. This is a base live in the game right now. There is your gold mine out in the forest. So, I mean, actually, I could have gone a different way with this episode when you think about it. This village cannot be three-starred, right? 
I mean, I don't, I don't know because I can't visit the village and I can't attack it, but I would guess if you put your gold mine in the middle of the forest, the attacking troops are not going to be able to see it. They're just not. They're going to go after all the other stuff out here and everything else looks relatively normal, but I, I kid you not. This is live in the game right now. This is an actual player and I can't show you the player's hashtag. Okay, fine. Here's the player's hashtag. Now it's proof, okay? So go out. Look him up yourself and tell me that you saw it too. That I wasn't just, you know, this was an actual in the game thing. And that's what makes these really interesting is this is live. This is not like, oh, just take Galadon's word for it. It's a weird base. No, it's like I can type in the player hashtag myself and my own Clash of Clans right now and see the gold mine way, way out in the forest. Now, that in and of itself I thought was pretty weird, but then when I finished filming this and I went away, I realized the game crashed. The game physically crashed. Now I was looking at him from my town hall too. So we're going to go back and I'll show you this. I was done with the episode. I was like, okay, and we'll end with this. And I thought, oh, wait a minute. Holy cow. Okay. So here's my town hall too. We've logged back on and we're going to go back in and I'm actually going to type in that player's hashtag will go visit the village one more time. So let's see, here we go to social. And again, do this yourself, prove it, you will see. Okay, so here is the hashtag up close and personal so you don't get it wrong. 8VRG2UPVVV. Here is your player. There he is, seems normal enough, right? Looks normal to me. Zoom out, and there it is again. You gotta go all the way out. The very right hand side you see the gold mine and click return home oops yeah so uh if you don't get to see this it's probably because the village has been removed i would guess that it won't be long before this village is gone forever so check it out now and leave a like on the video subscribe turn on notifications if you don't know it already ask me the story behind this ipad screensaver in a future live stream make sure you stop by fb.gg slash real galadon gaming have a fantastic best of the rest of your day get out there be kind to people animals and the planet and of course I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Damn it all. Now that's a strange base. Not as strange as your haircut, but, but still strange. <laughs>